Hello everybody and welcome to this month's Anime Paint Night. So, for this month, we've got a character that's pretty close to my heart, as most of them are. We have Senku Ishigami from Dr. Stone. So inside of your kit, you should have the reference sheet that has Senku there in a few different ways. Um, in addition, you should have the line art that I did for Senku this month. Um, I like the butterfly. I hope you all do too. Um, in addition, you should also have a watercolor palette with a paintbrush inside of it. And uh, always got to recommend having a cup of water um, and having some paper towel or paper to help you throughout the process. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I was super nervous when I, like, actually looked at Senku and decided to be like, oh yeah, I think we're going to do this for this month's anime paint night. Because Senku does not have a lot of color necessarily in his design. But as I looked at and as I continued here, we find that, to be perfectly honest, it's a pretty good design. We'll talk about it as we go. So first things first, let's get the skin tone. So usually I like to go for the brown and I just get like a lot of water on the brush. I dip it into the paint and I start doing small dabs of brown throughout, but mainly using the water to just spread it out, even it out so it's not necessarily um, like oversaturated. Makes it a little closer to his skin tone and such. Um, also, it doesn't bleed into the other areas if you start using the water and the paint lightly. You can control it a little bit better. So we'll first start with the face, making sure that's all taken care of. Got some of the ears. Then you can add a little bit more pigment when we start doing like underneath the chin, heading over towards his neck, just to give off the illusion that, yep, uh, there's some shading. There we go. Now, if you've never watched Dr. Stone, super recommend it. Um, it's kind of like anime Bill Nye the Science Guy. And I know that's a lot. That might not necessarily be accurate for some people, but I thought it was pretty accurate. Um, I actually uh, came upon watching this anime during right before the pandemic and leading into it um, back in 2020. Um, it was one of the uh, first series that um, my wife and I were able to watch with each other um, during that time. So it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty comforting show. That way, kind of like got close to our hearts. I haven't watched season two yet. Um, highly recommend it, though. Um, still, it's a very fun one. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we've already got the hands down, and we've got some of the arms and the elbows. So just keep going. When you have a uh, skin tone that's kind of close to like clothing and such, you can add a little bit more pigment to um, have that illusion of shading, kind of like what we did near the neck. Um, but yeah. Uh, then after this, we're probably going to go for the legs, if I remember correctly. Yes, we're going to go right in that little pocket between his boots and his pants. Yep, there we go. And then we'll do the other leg, and then we'll move on to our next target. And we can talk a little bit more about Dr. Stone in the next part of our painting. You're doing a very good job. Alrighty, now that we've gotten the skin tone down pretty much, it's time to work on Senku's attire. So, you know, Senku's attire is beige. So basically what we're going to be doing is the brown and the white or cream that's like on your palette and such. What I'd recommend is get a lot, a lot, a lot of water, start stimulating like the, um, the, the pigment for like the white and stuff like that, and then what you do Add a little bit of brown, just a little bit, and then blend it together, and then you're able to have um, that beige color that we're looking for. So a lot more of the white eggshell cream, more so than like the like the um, the brown pigment, but still have that blend, and then you should be able to get it. Now I know it's not necessarily the most super duper colorful, but I think there was a reason for this. So. In the show, Dr. Stone, um, there is essentially a 
reflourishing of the earth. So there's a lot of green in the show. The environment is usually very, 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 very lush. Um, and having the fact, like, his attire being very, like, neutral colored, not only is it story relevant for the fact that there's not a lot of resources to make stuff out of, but it's the fact that, whoa, like, he is not standing out with a lot of color, but it makes the background pop and it makes him pop out more because the background is doing all of the color for us. So we're going to keep that in mind as we go further and as we move closer to his hair and stuff. But also, now this anime paint, I really want us to focus on what you do with the background as well. So just keep on going. And of course, always a disclaimer, you don't necessarily have to um, do it this way or the colors that we have for um, Senku. You can make Senku whatever color you'd like, um, whatever you want to do. That's totally, totally fine. Um, it's not a requirement to follow along. And I think some of you probably already understand and or realize that at this point, you might be just like, ah, I'm going to do it this way. And that's fine. Everyone approaches it differently. And I want you to express that creativity. But as you can see, we've gotten pretty much most of the attire done. We've got the brown and the, um, the white working well together and such. We're hanging over with the boots now. Um, so what you're going to notice is after we get this, the majority of like the base done, we're going to start heading over to different parts of his attire that are a little bit darker so we're going to be leaning more towards brown instead of blending it with the white and the brown um but you'll see that after we get done with the belt if i'm correct yes the belt um let's see nice so then we're going to start going for the brown eventually and we're going to probably start heading towards the collar soon, I believe, if I'm correct. Nope, we're doing the boots first. Okay, so the bottom of the boots are brown or like a darker color. So feel free to just use that to be a little bit accurate there. And I think then we head towards the collar, if I'm correct. Yes, that's exactly what we do. And so after we do the collar, it's time. It's here for the hair. I'll see you at the next segment. Straight up, Senku does look like a green onion, and that's okay. It works very well. Um, his attire is um, lighter colored, as we've discussed. Um, not exactly a lot of pigment, so his hair really, really stands out, with, especially with the lushness of the world that he's in. So we're going to go for the lighter green that we have. Then we're going to start adding a little bit of beige again. Because if you look at it, there's a lot of gradient when it comes to Senku's hair. So we don't necessarily want to start with green so heavily. We're going to try to blend that beige or the, um, the eggshell with the green to just initiate that first bit of gradient for his hair. So it's not even going to start looking green at first. It's just going to have a little bit of that starter. It almost kind of looks like a little bit of a flame, uh, a green flame at that, but we're not going to get too much into that. Then, as you do your first layer, after that's done, you start more, mainly going for the green itself. Then you start adding a little bit of that green above the first beige layer. Don't put it on top of the beige, like like actually like painting over the beige. Just like start adding a little bit of green right above the beige and such. As you can see, you'll start seeing like, oh, the beige is turning into a faded green right now. And then, as you continue on, you can start adding a little bit more green, a little bit more pigment, and that way that'll start becoming a little bit more closer to his hair. Um, there is a little bit of in-betweens. So um, at the tips of Senku's hair, there's a very dark green. So that's why I'm kind of going for the green more so now. Like there's hardly any beige you can even see. It's just the pigment of green now. So we're going to start going in and filling in those edges, the tips of his flames and such. Again, take your time with this. You don't have to rush or anything like that. And then slowly but surely, you're going to start merging the green with the lighter green and with the beige. So once you start doing that, you're just primarily going to be using a lot of water and such. 
Let's just use the water. You can even get a little bit more beige to aid more of the gradient of what it looks like. There you go. Very nice. Add a little bit more beige right there with the hair, the middle tendrils, just to make sure that's smooth. And then at the edges of Senku's hair, it's like really, really dark. So I believe I start going for um, the darker green and a little bit of the the black and I start adding a little bit to like the edge of his front bangs barely though barely I'm just dropping just little bits of pigment you see how fast it like like flows into it and then just add a little bit of water just so it can like blend it nicely don't add a lot because I promise you it's it's water it's gonna get everywhere and that said we've got our hair done so now we're going to conclude with our last segment. So see you then. Alrighty, everybody. So now what we're going to do is going to go for the eyes. Senku's eyes are actually red. So get a little bit of pigment there. Just do a little bit of dab right there. As you can see, I was a little upset because, oh no, some of it came off near the eye. So I added a little bit of water to try to even it out a little bit. Then... I get my paper towel and I try to like smooth it out just a little bit more. Um, yep, there we go. I try to find that angle there. Make sure it's nice and tiny, not trying to ruin anything else on the painting and such. And like, you know, you're not really ruining anything. It's just, you know, sometimes you do something it's just like, ah, it's going to bother me a little bit. So I try to fix it. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually deal with the bandages on Senku's arms, I believe. So they're white, but shading, right? Get some black and then get a lot of water and then just do the edges of the bandages. And then that'll present that illusion again of the shading. There you go. Yeah, let's get some water there. And that's a pretty, pretty smooth part. And then add a little bit of water to blend it in if you want to, a little bit more. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start working on a little bit of the background. So you're going to see a little jar. Oh, my apologies. No, we're actually going to add some shading to the skin tone first. My apologies. So go ahead and get a little bit more brown, the pigment, and find those different areas of Senku's like, body there we can add a little bit of shading to things that are very close to clothes, um, obstructed by hair and such, that's where you can add a lot more of the pigment. Add a little bit of shading to make it a little bit more realistic. Makes it a little pop a little bit. There you go. And even inside the sleeve, that's a form of shading as well. Kind of similar to the uh, collar. Now we're going to go for the blue and we're going to start working a little bit on his chemistry beaker or um, yeah, I think it's a beaker and you can make whatever is inside there, whatever color you'd like. I was just going to do blue and purple. It's just what it is. And a little bit more. Then we mentioned this before. Senku stands out when there's a lot of color in the background so I had some grass here and I was deciding to use the opposite greens or a little bit both of the greens too to add a little bit of the grass today sitting in and now notice like it's okay if the green gets on the pants and stuff like that because you know in reality if you did sit on grass and such you could see some of the uh, blades block your clothing or you have a little bit of green from the grass on your pants and such so that's okay if you have some of the blades just like overlap and we have our butterfly I decided to make like not like a, a monarch but I wanted the wings to be orange so you know add a little bit there just doing some specs then get a little bit of yellow for the antenna and then what I do is I get a little bit of the blue for like hit like the butterflies like little flying streak and such and again you can do whatever you want for the background and everything um 
like you can even like do like a sunset if you want to or you can even add like more trees in the background or mountains and everything but i really encourage you to work on the background it's gonna make senku pop out even more and i think it might enhance your artwork i'm gonna add a little bit of a sun and pretty much after i do the sun that'll be it so again i highly recommend you watch dr stone very good anime um i think there's two seasons i don't remember um but very good show you'll even learn a few science tips fact check it of course oh i forgot the e equals mc square add a little bit of brown to make sure that pops out nice and clear and um thank you so much for joining for another anime paint night and i hope you have a good one see you next month bye bye